What's going on YouTube? Username Kite562 here, and I thought I'd give another Cardfight Vanguard deck profile of my G Messiah deck. Now, this G Messiah deck, I'm going to keep it G pure, but feel free to use it as a premium starter deck recipe. So, yeah, I just thought I'd share it here on my channel, and I hope you all enjoy it. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Okay, for starters, it's Neon Messiah. You basically get to, if it's unlocked, you put it into your soul, search your deck out for an Alter Ego or a Messiah Grade 3 Vanguard, and that's that. And for the main boss Grade 3, it's four Alter Ego Neo Messiah. I really love this unit really useful and his skills as follows Otto when your messiah G unit strides basically a general stride rule and then GB2 soul blast one at the end of your turn if you unlocked a card if you locked a card that was unlocked during that turn You may pay the cost and draw two cards. Basically, to boil it down is that if something unlocks on GB2, you get to Soul Blast 1 and draw two cards. So, is there another skill? Yeah, it's stride skills. Basically, call a card from your hand, choose up to one of each fighter's rear guards and lock it. So, yeah, it's a little bit of a tongue twister. So, GB2, you get Soul Blast 1, draw 2 cards for anything that gets unlocked. So, basically, a pot of greed with legs and wings. And then it lets you call something from your hand to get on starting with your locking and unlocking shenanigans. Since Messiah's main gimmick is locking and unlocking things to gain multiple attacks, multiple benefits, multiple cards, you get the idea. And so for the backup grade three, you have four Ideal Ego Messiah. Now this card, I love the art. It's absolutely gorgeous. And his skill is Auto once per turn. Choose a card from your hand and put it into your onto your rear guard circle as a locked card. And this is on the vanguard circle. And then when this unit is placed on vanguard or when your G unit would stride, you may pay the cost. If you do, draw a card, choose one of your vanguards that gets power plus 5,000 until end of turn. I mainly use this unit for its rear guard, or yeah, rear guard skill and its auto rear guard circle. Soul Blast 1 and lock this unit. At the end of the battle that this unit attacked, if your vanguard grade 3 or greater is a messiah, you may pay the cost. If you do, look at three cards from the top of your deck and put up to one card from among them to your rear guard circle as a locked card and shuffle your deck. Really useful, kind of gives you a way to filter through your deck. Really fun. So yeah, for ideal ego messiah. Now, on to the grade 2s. And I'm starting off with three, Heavy Material Dragon, another little Pot of Greed unit, and his skill is as follows, Auto GB1, kind of blast one and choose a card from your hand and discard it. Choose one of your other rear guards and lock it. When this unit is placed on rear guard circle, you may pay the cost. If you do, draw two cards. It lets you filter through your deck. Let's you see your heal, heal triggers for G Guardians. And it's really just a really useful unit. And I pulled so many of this guy from uh, Sovereign Star Dragon GBT03, where Amnesty was the GR, or one of the GRs for the set. So yeah, three Heavy Material Dragon. And... As I built this deck over the years, I always made sure to have three of them. And 
each and every one of my deck builds. Anyway, for Lady Fencer of Matter Transmission. Really useful card, lets you gain soul. Really great. <laughs> and then auto. When this unit attacks, or when this unit is placed on rear guard circle or unlocked, if your vanguard is a messiah, this unit gets power plus 2000 until end of turn. And then auto, rear guard circle, GB1, counter blast 1. When this unit attacks, if your vanguard is a messiah, you may pay the cost if you do soul charge 1. This unit gets power plus 5000 until end of that battle. And at the end of that battle, lock this unit. Nice little multi-attacker unit, lets you regain some sources to help with Alter Ego Neo Messiah's draw 2 skill. And then the next grade 2 is for Mega Messiah. Really useful combo starter, lets you attack and then fill up your board with locked cards without using cards from your hand and his skill is auto rear guard circle, counter blast one and lock this unit. And at the end of the battle that this unit attacked, if your vanguard is a messiah, you may pay the cost. If you do, look at three cards from the top of your deck and put up to one card from among them on your rear guard circle as a locked card and shuffle your deck. And you also have to lock this unit when this attacks, you pay the cost, lock it, look at the top three, lock another card like that, and then unlock it with the messiah. And then he has a GB2 skill of this unit gets power plus 2k for each of your locked cards. So, like I said before, if there's two units locked like this, and this hasn't swung yet, so this would be attacking for 13, 13k poke, <laughs> lock it, swing with your vanguard, unlock, nice lock and unlock shenanigans. So yeah, four, Mega Messiah. Onto the grade ones. Now, this deck does a lot of counter charging, and I'm really happy with this card from GPT 05, Moonlit Dragon Fang, and that's for Sacrifice Messiah. Basically, with when something is locked, like with your stride skill, this unit locks itself and gives something 3k or your vanguard. So auto, rear guard circle, GB1, lock this unit. When another rear guard is locked, if you have a grade 3 or greater vanguard with the messiah in its card name, you may pay the cost. If you do, counter charge 1. Choose up to one of your other units and it gets power plus 3k until end of turn. Really useful. It doesn't have resist though, but this is still a great card. It really came through to me over the years. And then my next grade one is four. Prayer Child of the Steady State Cosmo. Really useful PG from the Rondo and Chaos and Salvation booster. So, yeah. It's a Sentinel and its skill is Auto. It's a general PG skill for the Auto skill and then Act, drop zone, GB1. When this card is face up, or bind this card, choose a, two rear guards and lock them and then draw a card. So basically you get to bind this when it's in the drop zone and then lock two of your rear guard units and draw a card. Let's you end on a big late game play. And the next grade one is four Destiny Dealer. It lets you stride. It basically acts as another set of grade threes. 
since it gets grade plus two and it lets you search out for either ideal ego messiah or you know alter ego neo messiah so yeah for destiny dealer and then the next grade two is two Globule Dober, when this unit is unlocked, you may Soul Blast 1, draw a card, and counter charge 1. Now, you could also run Dark Metal Chameleon in this deck build, but Dark Metal Chameleon lets you unlock, or it lets you counter charge when it's unlocked, but it also has resist. But I found more flexibility with this unit. In my final deck build and again this is a unit from the rondo and chaos and salvation g booster so yeah two globule dobers and then for the trigger lineup i run four blink messiah the g version persona crit pop it into the soul give your vanguard 5k draw a card Let's you gain more soul. And then the next trigger is four. Starvader. Paradigm Shift Dragon. Now if you have a Starvader Vanguard, you can return this unit to your deck. And lock one of your opponent's cards. But, you know, cost must be paying, paid in full. But skills can be resolved as much as possible. So I mainly like to use this unit so I don't deck out and just bounce this unit back to the deck and shuffle it. That way I'll see it later with all the other drawing abilities my units would do within this deck. So yeah, four Starvader Paradigm Shift Dragon. And then the next trigger, four. Asteroid Wolf, another critical, pretty basic, and then finally, four, heal, in the form of Light that lights up Demise Karina. And then Soul Blast 1. When this unit is discarded from their hand for the cost of calling a darkness that lights up Demise Lacus Karina from your G zone, if the number of face up cards in your damage zone is one or less, you may pay the cost. If so, counter charge one. Yet yeah, another counter charging option I don't use it that much but I love the art of this unit so it really comes in clutch whenever I need it to so that's for the main deck the main 50 card deck so let's get on with the stride zone or stride deck to start things off I run two Genesis Dragon Basaltus Messiah. It's basically the first stride that I use to get my GB2 for Alter Ego Neo Messiah pretty early. So, and his skill is Auto, Counter Blast 1, and choose a face up card with the same name as this unit from your gene zone and turn it face up. When this unit attacks, if your heart card is a messiah, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose a locked card and a rear guard on any player's field for each face-up card in your G-Zone. And you may lock or unlock them. So basically what it does, is, or what I like to do, is I'll usually lock Neon Messiah. with this card and then I would unlock it and then lo lock another one of my opponent's use units basically shutting off a column 
for that turn, so they wouldn't have access to it. And then that way, once Neon Messiah unlocks, pop it into the soul, search my deck for a, you know, a Messiah Grade 3. And then Soul Blast it out with Alter Ego Neo Messiah skills, draw two more cards. So that's three from the Triple Drive, two cards from Alter Ego Neo. Yeah, that's five cards in hand from my count. If I get that wrong, I get that wrong. So. Okay. The next grade for Stride Unit is four. Genesis Dragon, Amnesty Messiah. When three or more units are unlocked for the cost of the Counterblast, when it attacks, it gets a critical. So basically, I like to lock my whole rear guard field with the card and then swing with this last, basically swinging for big, sending two damage or more to my opponent. Just putting a lot of pressure on them. So, yeah, for Amnesty. And then the next card is another one of my favorites, and that's four. Genesis Dragon, Flagellate Messiah. Basically lets you Omega Lock. And his skill is Cannibalist 1, choose a face down card in your G zone and turn it face up. When this unit attacks, you may pay the cost if you do... For each face up Genesis Dragon Flagellate Messiah in your G zone, <coughs> choose up to two locked cards and unlock them. If one or more cards were unlocked with this effect, choose any number of locked cards, and those cards cannot be unlocked until that fighter's next end phase. If three or more cards were unlocked with this effect, this unit gets critical plus one until end of that battle. Really useful G unit has Messiah in the name. So, and it really helps me Omega lock stuff and keep it in control. Kind of like what Big Crunch used to do. And then the one of is one Genesis Dragon Exelix Messiah. Now, his skill is when it attacks, Counterblast one, flip up an Amnesty. And then any unlocked cards on your field would get plus 3k. But if they were unlocked on your opponent's field, you kill them off. It doesn't matter how many there are. And if there are three or more units that are unlocked, this unit gets critical plus one. So basically an amnesty on steroids. But it's really nice. So yeah, one Exelix Messiah. And then the next one of is one Harmonix Neo Messiah, really useful glory effect, and basically an Exelix on steroids. So its skill is auto GB3. Choose a face down card from your G zone and turn it face up. When this unit attacks, if you have a uh -oh. If you have a messiah, or if your heart card is a messiah, you may pay the cost. If you do, unlock all locked cards, choose all of your units, and they get power plus 5k. And it, until end the turn. And then this unit would get 5k for each unlocked rear guard. And if five or more units were unlocked, your opponent cannot guard with grade ones or higher. However, your opponent may use a G Guardian to guard since they're discarding a heal trigger to gain access to it. And speaking of G Guardians, starting off, we run two Death Starvator Demon Maxwell. Basically, you lock something in your back row, and this gets 5k. Nice little quick <laughs> uh, de defense. And then one light that seals the tier, Lady Healer. I hardly ever use her. 
you could pr also probably throw in Destiny Guardian, the Messiah G-Guard that lets you unlock. I don't remember its full skill, but yeah. So, there's that. And then finally, I run two. Well, I guess I run one Lacus Karina. I, well, it's no biggie. So yeah, one Darkness that lights up demise Lacus Karina, and her skill is Counter Blast one. And then when this unit is placed on Guardian Circle, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose up to three of your rear guards, lock them, and your opponent blocks one of his rear units in the back row for each card that was locked on your side. Basically, it lets your opponent lose access to their back row boosting board, especially if you're facing against Shadow Paladin. So, yeah. And that's it for my G Messiah deck. Again, I just wanted to share this deck with you. So, yeah. Feel free to let me know in the comments below about what you thought of this deck profile. This is Kite562 signing out. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And if you're curious about this deck recipe, it's in the description down below. So please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more content from this channel. And as always, this is Kite562 signing out. I hope you have a wonderful day, everybody. Later.